Wake up, wake up, wake your punk ass up. It's the Mega Media Morning Show with Jermaine, man. Smooth in the morning. What is happening, people? What is going on out there? I'd like to thank y'all once again for tuning in. My man, D, what's poppin', man? What's up, Black Man? How you feeling? I'm good, man. I'm good, man. I was, was looking at the calendar, right? Right. And I'm like, man, Black History Month is almost over already. Did you do enough Black stuff during this month? Man, it's not enough time, you know well, You saying? got 300 and something more days to do it, right? Right, because I'm thinking the next big thing they're going to be all going crazy about is the leprechauns. Ain't leprechaun season coming up? I don't know, even know what that is. I'm an African. St. Patrick's Day, oh, man. Okay. Got all the black people running around like they Irish. <laughs> Get yourself together. Well, I am an O'Flinnigan, so, you know. You a what? O'Flinnigan is my last name. It's where we come from. <laughs> oh my God, is that why you look like that? <laughs> uh, just playing with you, but thank y'all once again. We up in here. We start this off, man. The inspiration of the day. Inspiration of the day. A positive mindset brings positive things. Hmm. Hmm. Positive mindset brings positive things. What do you think about that, brother? I Dave? like that. I like to keep your mind out the gutter. Man. Maybe you can love one another. You better feel me. I'm hot right now, there damn it. Go, man. That's dope right there. Yeah, positive mind, positive things. Negative mind will bring negative things too. So it goes both ways, man. You gotta keep that positive thought going on right there. Keep all the negativity out the door. You know what I mean? What happened if the repo man come? You gonna think something positive smooth? Uh definitely. You gonna think something positive. <laughs> for me to keep that truck. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do it. All right, we're gonna get into the ENT, the entertainment of the day. You know, we get all our entertainment from the reporter newspaper online.com. Click on the entertainment section and you see what we're talking about. What we're talking about right now is on the front page. D, we had an awesome weekend here in the city. Yo, man, it was uh, NBA All Star weekend. We had a couple of people stop by to celebrate, or while they was in Cleveland celebrating. What you know about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was a star studded event. And what last time it was here was what, 97? I want to say. I don't even remember that. It was the year Kobe won the slam dunk contest. Oh, word? So it was that year, yeah. I want to say it was 97 at the old Gund Arena. I'll tell you what, the, the only thing special I remember about the old Gund Arena mm -hmm. is me and you closing the record store, mm -hmm. going up there the day LeBron got drafted. It was like a party on the whole them. Um, I think that might have been the last time I've been in the Gund, as it was called the Gun. But... Yeah. That was a joyous night. We was up in there and had a couple of beverages, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and we, was, we got the jerseys like everybody else got. Yeah. We didn't run through the thing, but it was dope. It was, it was monumental. That was dope. Yeah. And, you know, come back, what, 20 some years later, All-Star Weekend was, was was pretty dope. We had uh, a big man winning three-point contest, you know? Well, who was that? Uh, Cat from, uh, what's his name? Cat, uh, I forget his last name, man. He's a big man down there, man. Right? But he won the three-point contest. Okay. They had the skills event, you know what I'm saying? Cleveland won that, right? Cleveland won that. Shouts out to the boys. It was like Jared Allen, Evan Mobley, Darius Garland won that thing right there. And I didn't watch it, but I heard, I was glad that I didn't watch it. The slam yeah. funk contest. Slam funk contest. It wasn't, it wasn't fanfare like that. Yeah, they said it was horrible. I didn't even go back and look at it, you know. But I saw highlights. Low lights. Yeah. Low lights. Mm -hmm. it is, you know? And then I didn't even know who those guys was. Yeah. I did not know. It was Ob Toppin, the guy that won. Who? Ob Toppin from the uh, New York Knicks. Ooh. He won. Oh, know? okay. So he like the only pure dunker that was in that contest. Okay. You know? cool. What but about the game itself? The game itself was dope. They still had that crazy format where they uh, what they do each quarter resets itself, and the winning team of that quarter donates the money to the, the to the charity of their cause, which was, uh, what was it, for uh, LeBron? Kent State, the I Promise Kids. So they got about 450,000 donated. But the game itself, man, your man from Akron, born in Akron, went off, and I'm talking about Stephen Curry. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, he, yeah, he was hitting like crazy. Man, he was on fire. Every time he throw it up, I'm like, I know this ain't going in. Wow, goes in. And I swore LeBron was going to try to go off to win it since he was back home. But Steph just outshined him, man. With nothing you could do. But LeBron did his little song and dance at the end, though. Oh, man. You couldn't script that. The MJ fade away, man. Clutch. They said he wouldn't clutch. It's one of the clutchest spots right there, man. So it was dope, man. But what I want to talk about, man, the halftime show. 
when they honored the 75 greatest NBA players. It was the dope thing. Did you watch that, D? Nope. You didn't? I haven't made my transition from football yet. Oh, man. So what it was was the top 75 people, they did it in categories, forwards. You know what I'm saying? You got forwards, centers, shooting guard, point guards. And everybody came out, you know what I'm saying? If they weren't dead, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, LeBron, they ended him off with the forwards, this and that. So the speculation was, is Jordan going to be there? Because they said he wasn't going to be there. So they're doing the guards. They did the Kobe, got the big applause. And they said six-time NBA champ, six-time MVP, finals. People got to losing their damn mind. Man, this dude walked out in the place went nuts. You know what I'm saying? So that was a beautiful moment. But what I noticed, a lot of the sinners are dead. Like, Stop looking at me, man. What I'm sorry, you? man. Because <laughs> I'll be talking to you, man. I'm just wanting to show you, <laughs> you can't mess that up I'm like serious. That. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of the sinners was dead. And it was it was throwing me off like the big man. The big man is in... The ones that were coming out, oh, decrepit. Knees blew out. And man, like that game will mess you up, especially if you're a big guy, man. The guards was coming out all. Those forwards was coming out pretty cool, but them centers. Did Shaq come out like that? Man, Shaq was cool. You know, he big anyway, but he was flexing with it, this and that, showing he ain't broke down. But, you know, Kareem Abdul's bar looked like he was sitting in the wheelchair, but he wasn't. His clothes was all wrinkled, man. It was it was sad, man. It was a sad look for him, man. But it was a good look for the NBA, man. So shots out, man. Next year it will be in Utah, Salt Lake City. We'll see how that one goes right there. So that was the entertainment right there. If y'all didn't watch it, go back, watch the clips of it, retakes of it, like D will do. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's what it is. And from the entertainment, you know we get all the entertainment from the reporter newspaper, online.com. From that, we'll get into the black thought of the day. Brother Hyrum. Black thought of the day. Y'all better film me before they kill me. Hey, listen, man. It is February, and February is Black History Month. Like my man Smooth was saying off top, check this out. Uh, you can do this black history thing all year long like we do here at AcroHipHop.com, the reporter newspaper online.com. We paint positive images of our people every day. We don't wait until the master man tell us to do it, okay? We do it because this is how we live it, for real. Now, Smooth, you may not be 100% Mandingo, but damn it, I am. Y'all better feel me before they kill me, y'all. I am Mandingo in pieces. All right. All right. That's the Black Thought right there. Thank you for that. With that, we'll get into the Black Biz of the day. And the Black Biz, you see it on my shirt, man. You see it on everybody's shirt. AkronHipHop.com right there there. I want y'all to support the business, man. We still got the mask. You know what I'm saying? Support us. If you like what you see, man, support. Donate. Support means to donate. There's certain things you got to mix together right there. So AkronHipHop.com is the business right there. And like I said, promote or showcase. If you want to promote or showcase your style, man, hit us up. 330-937-2632. That's 330-937-2632. And if you want to donate, support Cash app, dollar sign, 427-S-M-O-O-V-E. That's cash app, dollar sign, 427 Smooth. And with that, I'm out. Star City Entertainment and Exclusive uh, Entertainment presents the okay. Cancer Awareness okay. Gala. Come out and enjoy live oh. music from the Mike Austin Project. Great soul food with yeah. DJ Easy Money and BJ the DJ. This cabaret-style gala will showcase and celebrate our victories regarding our continued battle against cancer. Our special guest speaker will be Dr. Nicole Fowler, MD. Okay. Remember to come out March 19, 2022, to the event center located at 2208 East Market Street, Akron, Ohio. And remember, come out, enjoy some great music, great food, while we celebrate our victories. Keep the date, Saturday, May 28th, 2022. It's the Perkins Junior High Alumni Reunion Party. This will be the event to remember with DJ Easy Money and VJ the DJ with live performances by Rare Image. Come out to the event center that's 2208 East Market Street, Akron, Ohio, and rock out all night long with some great tasting soul food while supplies last. 
Remember, that's $35 per person in advance and $60 per couple. And you know what? That's only $40 at the door per person. Remember, keep the date Saturday, May 28th, 2022. It's the reunion, the Perkins Junior High School reunion alumni party. Hi, my name's Vanessa. I'm a part of the new leadership team here at Louisiana. Uh, we are basically doing the same menu. We got whole wings, wing dings, we got our fish. Uh, we have catfish, perch, shrimp. Uh, we offer it grilled or fried. And we're doing the same sides that we always have, all homemade collard greens, mac and cheese, red beans and rice, mashed potatoes, uh, coleslaw, all the regular. We also have some fried gizzards still. Um, our, we have new operating hours. We're open during the week 11 to 7 and on Fridays and Saturdays 11 to 8, closed on Mondays as normal.